And after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men came from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. Hello again, God's beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Five Minutes. It's the show that's committed to bringing you uplifting and inspirational word to help you through those hard times. You seek me and you find me when you seek me with all your heart. In order to find him, you must go to where he is to meet him. But to find him, you must know just where he is. The wise men are a picture of those who seek Jesus. And in seeking him, they had a very unusual journey to get to where he was. The Bible gives us a brief description of these men and just how far they had to travel. But in seeking him, they came a mighty long way. How many of us in our days lived a life that was so far removed from God? That life took us through some hills and valleys, some dry and dusty places. But in the end, we can look back and say, he's bought me from a mighty long way. The Magi traveled from a distance for well over 400 miles. And just to give you an idea of just how, how far and how long it took them, they traveled only by night because that was the only way they could see the star. They were on a journey that would change their lives forever. I mentioned that in order to find Jesus, you must know where he is to get to him. Blind Bartimaeus knew the road that Jesus was going to pass by, so he positioned himself to meet the king of kings. So the first thing that we must do, we must know just where he is. This is a question that everyone who is seeking Jesus needs to ask himself. Where can I go to find him? In Isaiah 55 and 6, the text read, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Blind Bartimaeus gave a shout when Jesus passed by. Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. God will meet the needs of anyone who faithfully searches and does all that he can to find him. The wise man searched diligently until they found him. The person who refuses to give up will find the true rest they're looking for. Wise men seek to know him, not just to know about him, but to know him in a personal way. They seek to know that he is the real, true, and living God. The next thing that we need to do is that we need to know just what to look for. The wise men had to start to lead and guide them on their travels that probably took them through different towns and cities. They went through dry and dusty lands, as we know that the desert is known for that. And then on top of that, they didn't have a map or a compass to, to guide them, but they relied on the star, on his star to lead them. The light of Christ brings men from out of the darkness and into his marvelous light. And as he said time and time again, I am the light of the world and whoever follows me would never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The wise men could only travel at night in order to follow this star and they knew just what they were looking for and they followed it straight to where he was. He was in the world and the world knew him not. The determination of the wise men is a clear illustration of overcoming the blindness of the world. They saw the sign and they went seeking. A wise man is one who seeks after the king of kings. We seek to worship Christ and him alone and not anything or anyone else. We give praises to the one who loved us so much that he gave up the riches of the kingdom just to come down and live among us. He is the one who chose to live in the form of a human and then suffer in our place for our sins just so we can share in the eternal glory that God has awaiting for us. Wise men seek him from their heart and not just because someone told you to, but you do it all because of who he is. The world seeks Christ, but not in a way that those who are lost are seeking. They seek him for personal gain and they want to use him to gain favor for holiday sales. The world seeks him because they want to change his image into that of something that is made by human hands. But he cannot be made up. And as it is, he is the one who made us and not we ourselves. Whenever you mention the name of Jesus, people get disturbed because they do not want to know him for who he is, the Savior. They want to control him, 
and are unwilling to humble themselves before him. To the little King Herod, the birth of Christ troubled his heart so deeply that he wanted to kill him. The world seeks Christ to place blame on him when things don't go their way or just when they want to get him out of the picture. The message of the gospel is plain and true. We seek Christ to have purpose for life. We seek him at all costs. Wise men humble themselves and leave behind their former lives just to follow him. Knowing the scriptures is not enough to bring one to an authentic worship of Christ. Because the chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees, they all knew the law well, but they did not know the one true king. They understood the prophecies that were spoken long ago, but unlike the wise men, they did not come to worship him. Wise men still seek him. Well, that's my time. I pray that you all have a blessed week. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. One love, five minutes.